So it's finally here, the new FX DRS. Now I've received the pro version from Sweden a few weeks ago, and I've put this gun thoroughly through the testing phases. Now in the time that I've used it, I've gathered a lot of data that I'm gonna share with you guys today if you wanna buy this gun in the future. And of course, I'm on a farm that has a lot of moving targets that needs to be taken down. So of course, we're gonna have some fun with it as well. So without further ado, let's go out there and let's get this started. Nice and short. Smack. Oh, 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 jackpot. Another one down. Awesome. Eight shot. So let's have a look at the overall look and build of this gun. Now the FX DRS Pro do come in two versions. You have a classic version that's based upon hunting and you have the Pro version that I've got here today that's based upon competition shooting. But a little bit of a side note, the Pro version can also be used for hunting as well. At first glance, the FX DRS Pro looks a lot shorter than the FX Panthera, but when you put the two guns next to each other, it's only about two inches shorter than the Panthera. The next thing that you will notice that it has a magazine style plenum underneath the action now, and that the whole barrel system has been changed into a air cylinder. Something that you will also notice on this action is that it does not have any external power adjusters like the Panthera. If you wanna do those kind of settings, you have to do everything internally. Another one down. <laughs> if you get the hold right, and you pull the trigger, whatever you're aiming for is gonna go down. Out of my face every single time a starting drops. Same procedure, Miss Sophie. Same procedure as last year. The next thing that I want to speak about is power and performance of this gun. To start things off with, I'm shooting a 34 grain H&N slug today, a 218 at 995 feet per second average. Now I've got my rig set at 170 bar and with a 230 bar full, I'm getting more or less 17 shots with one full. The DRS Pro has the new Mark II amp regulator fitted in it and with this, a new short pulse valving system. Now, I've shot this gun over the chronograph and the numbers looks very, very impressive. Now the one thing that I've also noticed when I was shooting this gun is that I could hear the 63cc plenum on this gun refreshes much faster than the FX Panthera that I've got with a 156cc plenum. I had to shoot that one left-handed. That was a great shot. Only had the back of the head in my sights. And still I managed to knock him down. <laughs> Just stopped him dead in his tracks. Perfect shot. A 
there's a lot of wind blowing. I can still hear the smack down there. Well, unfortunately, this is the weather we've got. I've got about 50 to 55 kilometers an hour winds blowing out here. And I'm gonna do accuracy for you at 50 meters. Let's see what it does. 34 grain h and n slugs, DRS Pro. Let's see. Well, there you go. Let's go check that out. So here we are, 50 meters in this 55 kilometer hour wind. Uh, that is my first five shots over there. And my friends, that is very, very good. You will see four of them are pretty much almost a, a little clover leaf over there. And I've got one that shifted out because most likely the wind shifted. And then the same story this side. I've got four of them right on top of each other and one that shifted out slightly most likely because of wind as well. But those two groups at 50 meters, right off the bat like that, absolutely perfect fine. I'll take that any day. Yo, this gun is heavy. <laughs> but I made the shot close by, 20 meters. This is much more fun than shooting steel, I can tell you that. <laughs> Headshot, perfect. gone. So let's speak about some extra information here quickly and starting off with the magazine system this gun takes. If you have a look at the magazine you will see it looks very similar to the old FX Crown magazine which I have here in my hand. But there is a difference. The new DRS magazine has a ball bearing system now in it that make operation much, much smoother. To fill up the gun, you do not have a external foster connector anymore, but you do receive a filling probe now with the system. There's a small little hole on the action here on the side where you put the probe in and you can fill it up to 230 bar. If you want to set your regulator and you have to go against the pressure, you're going to have to degas this gun. And the only way you, how you're going to do this is by loosening a gauge here on the side and letting the air out slowly. Dead, dead, dead. Sparrow, gone. That's smooth, very, very smooth. Same hold for the wind, uh, about 0.5 for the wind to the left. And uh, 
it just puts the slug exactly where I'm aiming. Perfect. When I played around with this gun and especially the trigger adjustments, I did see that the trigger that I've got on this gun is very similar to the old boss style trigger system. And that makes this trigger very adjustable and very, very crisp. Now, if I open up the cocking lever here, you will notice that the probe in here is already a pin probe. And that means you already have the high flow capacity for boosting a lot of power. Now, of course, we need to speak about this chassis system here. And this is the MDT Elite chassis. Now, this chassis has been around the block for a long time now in the centerfire world. So you guys most likely have seen it. It's very versatile. You can add external weights, internal weights. There's a lot of M-Lock slots. We can add a lot of accessories to it. You can do any kind of AR style grip on it. And you can even set the length of pull here at the back by the buttstock, which makes this whole chassis system very, very nice. But I'm gonna show you something also very special. Stay tuned for that. Well guys, unfortunately, the weather is not going to allow me to do any more hunting. So I'm just going to play around with this that I've got here in my hand. The Panthera Pro Elite. I need to show you this on the next episode. Plus, I'm going to take the DRS Pro out for some proper hunting. So thanks for watching and stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Cheers.